Hi, my name's Dave Willis and I'm from the Hertfordshire Amphibian and Reptile Group. My talk for you today is on what Hertfordshire's amphibians and reptiles are doing throughout May. Reptiles and amphibians are cold-blooded, which means they don't generate their own body heat. So as the temperature gets hotter, they get more active. From February and March, ponds like this have been full of toads, of frogs and of newts. Toads will shortly be leaving the pond in huge hopping carpets. Frogs will leave one at a time, newts the same. Across the summer they'll be leaving the ponds. All of these animals, amphibians, need to breed in the water. But once they've done that, they'll be then leaving to feed, to forage and to keep safe from predators. At the same time, the following year, they'll be back. So you might see some of these in your gardens if you're lucky enough to have a pond or if you're lucky enough to live somewhere like this you may too see this sort of activity around that time of year. This lessens as things get war warmer and the oxygen levels in the ponds drop. Similarly, things start to slither as it gets a little bit warmer. Snakes, slow worms and other lizards start to be more active. As the toads and frogs and newts have bred the grass snakes will come out to feed on them. They'll have been hibernating all winter and the spring brings them out to feed and to breed. If you have compost heaps or other piles of vegetation lying around, female grass snakes, when they become full of eggs, will seek these places out in order to lay their eggs and the eggs, the eggs will hatch towards the end of the summer. So keep your eyes out as it gets warmer in ponds and around edge vegetation there are reptiles and amphibians and please do do your best to provide a home don't be scared Hertfordshire doesn't have anything harmful or dangerous and they really are quite wonderful to watch at this time of year